are returning to our roots, back to the homestead. Think of those good old hearty meals all made entirely from scratch. Nina Driggs is joining me to share more. Great to see you, sister. Thank you. So, so home, fun to be here. Homestead cooking, are we seeing a resurgence in this, an interest in this? Well, I think home style or homestead cooking is back to basics. Mm. And it just makes me think about what was it like when I was younger and what did my mom do at home? And I just feel like we live in a society where everything is so convenient. It's true. It's so easy just to go in and buy it and have it done. But you can make a lot of these from scratch. Yeah. And I just, one of the things that I, the memories that I have is that my mom always made angel food cakes. Mm. And now you can only, it seems like no one knows how to make them. Right. You only buy them in the grocery store. But we can make things from scratch. It does sort of revisit this idea of cooking as an art, like cooking as a creative expression, as a, you know, you would say labor of love, and there is something to that. Like we shouldn't discount that just for convenience. I agree. And I think a lot of people are concerned about all the preservatives sure. that they're eating. And so if we're making things from the basics, then you are eliminating some of those in our diet. You have that control. What's going on our stove today? Okay, this is so much fun. What? We are making cheese. We are. This is ricotta cheese. Okay. And we are at the right temperature that we are going to add. What's in there right now? Some salt. That is whole milk. Whole milk. Nothing else. Nothing else but whole milk. And now salt. I'm adding in some vinegar. Vinegar. Okay, this is the magic. I love science. I love kitchen science. Right. I don't love science on its own, but kitchen science. Oh my gosh, look, there you go. What is happening? What is happening? These are curds and it is separating from the whey. Do you know what's wild? If you would have said, how do you make ricotta cheese? I couldn't have answered you. Right? So shouldn't we know what's in our food? That Look at that. Vinegar is causing it to separate. Molecules, blah, blah, blah. I know. That's amazing. But this is what's so fun. So we put that in, mm -hmm. and now we're going to turn it off, and it is going to hold for 20 minutes. And then... Just like that? Yeah. And okay. then what happens after 20 minutes, I'm going to pour it into... A cheesecloth. You got it, girl. And then this is what it is. It's just this beautiful, drained ricotta cheese. Okay, that's incredible. And the reason I put this cake out here is because sometimes people think ricotta and they think, oh, lasagna, that's all you, you use it for. This is a raspberry las uh, ricotta cake. You almost said raspberry lasagna. <laughs> Which, if you made it, I'd eat it, but... <laughs> Let's make some raspberry <laughs> lasagna, I'm on it. But a good topping for this? Well, you can put anything on it, but it's got ricotta cheese in it. Oh, in it, okay. okay. And then you can make ricotta pancakes. Yeah. There's so much that you can do with ricotta. And, okay, you ready? You know I'd love to have you try I, these. I am a willing participant. Okay. I think. It might be a big bite, I don't know. Oh, that's good. Right? Mm -hmm. That's really good. And it's just creamy, and mm -hmm. it's delicious. And seriously, that took us 10 minutes to warm up the milk. I actually was surprised by that, by the, the quickness of it. How fast it happened. 10 minutes warm with the milk, sits for 20. Mm -hmm. How long can I keep that in the fridge? You know. A month. A month. I mean, it'll, it will be gone before then, but okay. Homemade ricotta. You've been experimenting with homemade mayonnaise yes! as well. She's excited. I'm excited. Okay. So you start with an egg yolk. Okay. And you're just going to whip it until it's nice and pretty and light. And I could have told you there was an egg in there only because there's an egg on the mayonnaise bottle. <laughs> <laughs> they started to put, you know, the ingredients so you feel good about what you're eating. I know, but this mm -hmm. is so great. So this just has a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of sugar, salt, and some lemon juice. And I'm just going to mix it in like this. Yeah. I only did half because this is a process. Okay. So I, you can have somebody help you if you have kids. This is super fun. Yeah. And you're just dripping in this oil and just at a stream like this, you're going to keep doing it till you have half the oil in. It's changing. I know. I'm serious. And I could do this, but it takes about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. And we don't have it. Yeah. So I'm going to stop right there. But okay. then you add the rest of the vinegar mixture and uh -huh. you continue to drip this in. I'm doing it with a wire whisk, uh -huh. but you can do it with a food processor. You can do it in a blender. Okay. You can use an immersion blender. So you could keep the blender going on low and just pour yes. it. Yes. And uh -huh. this is the secret is you saw the stream, right? Yeah. And in case you make your own salad dressings, please always do this. Yeah. When you're adding your your um, oil, you don't, can always do the steady drip. Yeah. Don't just dump it in. Okay. That's what makes it Guilty. not. Okay. <laughs> Never again. It doesn't congeal. Okay. But this is the mayonnaise that we made. Look at that. And can then, I just do a little? Yes. Okay. Please. Yep. It's mayonnaise. 
I love it's it. It's mayonnaise. And then I just had so much fun. I just opened up my uh, spice cabinet and I said, what can we do with this? Okay, now there is fun. There is a party in that. Right? So we put some dill in one of them. I put some sriracha in another. Mm -hmm. This is rosemary, thyme, and fresh basil leaves. This is lime Ooh. and some green onions. I've got some cumin and chili powder in this. And I just decided to make some sandwiches. Look how delicious and those look. And just show you what you could do with all this homemade Mayonnaise. Okay. That's I mean, so fun. Homemade mayonnaise was one thing, but I didn't even consider the flavor options that you can again control what's in there and feel good about what you're eating, know what you're eating. Well, I kind of thought as I just kept thinking, okay, this is such a fun party idea, isn't it? Yes. That you could just lay out all these mayonnaise and you could lay out meats and cheeses and different yeah. kinds of bread. And then your guests come in and make their sandwiches. You've got some yummy fall soups. With your homemade mayonnaise. I love it. Listen, a Sammy is not just a Sammy when you've got your lime and what? Lime Lime and, Lime and green onions. Amazing. All right, Dina, you're the best. Thank you so much. Where can we follow along for more recipes and kitchen inspiration? Please find me on Dina's Diner. And I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Pinterest, and I would just love to have you come and see what I'm making. I saved your mac and cheese this week. Oh, I'm excited to make it. so good. Great recipes waiting for you over there. We'll link you from our website. Great job today. Thank, Thank you so you. much.